Solomon Tyler Galligan is currently being held in jail in Aurora. He's got a $25,000 bond. He's been charged with a second degree kidnapping or attempted kidnapping for the actions that he took at Black Forest School where he entered the playground and put his hands on an 11 year old boy. Luckily, the boy was not alone. He had his friends around him. They yelled, stranger danger. They kicked at Solomon. Solomon tripped over a blanket that he was carrying. So the kids ran away from him. Solomon ended up first lunging for the child and then changed his mind and left. This was caught on some surveillance cameras. And when the school put out the warning and description of the assailant, he was recognized at a nearby pharmacy. He claimed to have been assaulted and wanted to get medical attention. Police arrived, got him some medical attention, but also put him under arrest. Solomon has been called a meth mouth zombie and trans in various reports, but a deep dive into him has discovered this young man, he's 33 years old now, is a product of the system. He began as a foster child and he has mental health issues. He has been in and out of jail. He's had charges ranging from burglary in Pueblo, Colorado in 2018, 2012. He got a failure to register as a SO. What I'm finding seems to be that he did non-consensual touching of someone. Nothing saying anything about P3DO though, so don't know what his intentions were with this child. He has a Facebook that he hasn't posted on since 2018. In 2010, it says that he graduated from cosmetology school. In 2011, he made a post about how he had started hormone treatments to transition there's some pictures of him looking kind of like a, a cute young woman. And there's some others where he looks kind of like in between. And, you know, reports are saying that he's trans, but all of his arrest reports are identifying him as male. Anyway, his arrests seem to have been getting to be for more and more serious things. In 2021, he got an aggravated assault in Denver where he attacked a woman he he just out of nowhere punched her down and she had to have stitches and everything but she says she forgives him she understands his mental illness she says that he's a lovely person when he's medicated and that you know when he's medicated he's nothing like this zombie that we see so we'll be following this case and bringing you more